and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be a turkey q a for the people who are new here i'm originally from the netherlands but i'm living in turkey now for almost four years and i get asked all the time so many questions about turkey living here moving here the culture and all of that so i asked you guys on instagram stories and here on youtube to send in your questions that you have for me and i got some really nice questions so i'm going to be answering them in this video if you are hearing a lot of wind in the background it's really windy today um, so that's why you hear maybe some noise of course if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday a brand new video and I make videos about beauty lifestyle uh, vlogs Disney so if you like that make sure you subscribe and of course hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos and of course you can also follow me on Instagram and now let's get started with this Q&A the first question is in Dutch but she's asking me uh, for how long I'm in Turkey so I moved here in February or March uh, 2016 so that's four years ago I remember that day really well because it was so hard to leave my family behind but of course I was also really happy because uh, I could be with my now husband so yes I've been in Turkey for four years the next question is how does it feel to live in a different country so I am of course from the Netherlands so I was only really used to the Dutch culture and I went to school there and only talked Dutch there so only one language I used uh, most of the time so when I came to Turkey everything was different here the culture is so different uh, comparing to the Dutch culture but the people here are so friendly so I felt really uh, welcome here so coming back to the question how does it feel to live in another country I think if you move to another country sometimes you can feel uh, quite lonely maybe because of course you don't know any people of course I knew my husband obviously but I mean by friends and of course your family you leave everything behind but because you move from one country to another it can be so um, how do I say this it can be quite a culture shock and just that you leave everything behind that can feel quite weird I made my home really my own, I decorated it uh, the way I wanted so that makes me also feel like uh, this is my home now so I feel really happy here in Turkey now but I understand that sometimes people uh, feel a little lonely here because yeah you leave everything behind so I think that's a quite normal feeling then the next question is did you experience many cultural differences so yes like I said Turkey is so different comparing to the Netherlands when you come to someone's home in Turkey you always have to take your shoes off and I don't mind that because I really like a clean home myself so I really like it and it's also give you a feeling like you're coming home in a sense so when you come to people's home and uh, you have to take your shoes off and then when you visit people they give you always so much food <laughs> when you visit turkish people they always make some chai which is turkish tea or some turkish coffee which is also really delicious and they give you so many cookies and uh, turkish uh, delight sweets also they give you a lot of fruit which i really love as well so they are very welcoming and i won't say that dutch people aren't um welcoming because they are but uh, turkish people have that little extra like they just want to give you everything they have and they want to make you feel like you're at home when we visit turkish family that uh, live further away it is never a problem uh, to stay there for the night like they are just so welcoming and so friendly also in turkey you got some men uh, cafes they're little tea houses where men only men go to play uh, some board games and to drink tea it was so funny uh, for me to see that because they are just men they are playing board games talking drinking some tea and that's something that we don't have in the netherlands here in turkey you also got a lot of small supermarkets in the netherlands in my city we just got a few big supermarkets and here in turkey you got them of course as well some big uh, supermarkets but what they have here on the streets is all little small markets so when you're in the center and you need a bottle of water or something to drink or anything like that you can just pop in a supermarket like that and usually it's not bigger than my bedroom it's a really little small supermarket which is also really fun because uh, we don't have that in the Netherlands as well the next thing that I also think it's really beautiful about the Turkish uh, culture is that they respect older people uh, a lot so when they greet someone who's older than them like a grandmom or someone they have respect for they greet them first on the chin 
and after on the forehead so they do this and i think that's so beautiful like they show respect for uh, the other people and that's something that we don't do in the netherlands but i think that's really beautiful the next question is have you ever lived anywhere else? If so, how does it compare? So I already answered this question a little bit. I only lived in the Netherlands. And like I mentioned already, it's such a different country. One thing that is also very different from the Netherlands and Turkey is the, is the work hours. I am currently not working, but my husband is. And my husband is a chef. He works in the kitchen. And the work hours here are just really, really long. In the Netherlands, usually you start in the morning at nine o'clock and um, you are finished at six. But my husband, he works from seven in the morning till maybe 11 at night. And he only got two hours in the day to rest. So he has really, really long work hours, which is of course really different from the Netherlands. I believe in Netherlands, that's not even legal to work that long. So that's something that is also really different here. One thing that is of course also really different is the food here. Turkish food is so so delicious, I really love it. A lot of the things are quite healthy I would say, like you have the stuffed pepper, uh, the dolma, Turkish chai, Turkish coffee, pide, uh, tzatziki, although Greeks say they made it and Turks say, so I don't really know. Because I live in Marmaris near the sea, there's a lot of um, uh, seafood as well. So if you love seafood, uh, you definitely have to come somewhere in Turkey near the sea, which is of course also really healthy for you. So the Dutch food and the Turkish food is completely different. And uh, yes, I'm really enjoying the Turkish food here. And of course, I'm really lucky with my husband because he's a chef and um, he can cook really delicious. So I'm, re I'm a really lucky girl. Then the last question is, uh, how is the weather compared to the Netherlands? So because I live in the Southwest of Turkey, um, the summers are really long here in april and may it's already so nice the sun is out maybe you can already go for a swim in the sea till i would say october so the summers are really long here of course it's not always sunny here but uh, a lot more sunny than in the netherlands for sure i love to swim and i love the sunny weather so uh, yes turkey has definitely uh, my preference instead of the netherlands of course it's not always sunny here uh, the winters can be quite cold it doesn't go uh, below zero here but the wind especially the wind can be cold here it can storm a lot thunder rain but that's usually only a few months in the year not that much so yes most of the time it's just nice sunny weather and it makes me really happy all the flowers are out palm trees so yes the turkish weather uh, makes me really really happy so these were questions so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any more questions let me know in the comments down below and of course if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos and of course you can also follow me on instagram and i hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos bye